New at five, an Oklahoma boy is getting attention on social media for catching this exotic South American fish that looks like human-like teeth in a neighborhood pond. Yeah, you'll see it more close in a minute. Well, you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. You might need a dentist visit. I don't know. Fox 23's Michelle White joins us live looking into how that fish may have ended up there. Michelle. Shay and Sarah, it's actually more common than you think. Charlie Clinton lives in Edmond, and on Friday he caught a paku, which is a relative of the piranha. Now the piranha, not the paku, is banned from being imported into the state of Oklahoma because of the devastation it can do to the natural habitat. These are pictures of the paku that Charlie Clinton found in his neighborhood pond in Edmond. His mother reported it to the Oklahoma Wildlife Game Warden, but she and Charlie released it back into the water before they knew what it was. That's something the agency does not want you to do if you find an exotic fish like this. Kelly Adams is the communication and education supervisor for the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. Paku eat mostly vegetation. Um, and the consequences of that is because they're non-native, they are directly competing with native species for habitat and resources like food. Um, and also it is illegal to dump non-native wildlife into um, water um, or other habitat. Adam says she believes that Paku was likely dumped into the pond by someone who had it as a pet and it outgrew a home aquarium. People with these exotic species will release them into the wild thinking that they're doing the right thing for their pet when in reality they might not be because um, that pet is not number one accustomed to living in the wild and it might not have access to the resources that it typically needs. She says if you see an exotic fish like this, you need to kill it. And if you aren't comfortable doing that, you can call a game warden. We don't want these species competing with our native wildlife at all. Um, if they become established and have a reproducing population, it could be detrimental to our native wildlife. And we're experiencing that with, with other invasive species. Adam says the agency gets reports of finding a paku every few years. And the most recent find was in 2018. And Adam says if you have an exotic pet that you can no longer take care of, there are resources for you. And one of them is the website don'tletitloose.com for options of finding a new home for your pet that's better for the pet and for the native species. Live in Tulsa, covering news that matters. Michelle White, Fox 23 News.